Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Steffi Talks, and welcome to the first video of 2020. Before we dive into this video, I thought I will just say hi and welcome to any new subscribers who have um, stumbled onto my channel. Um, this is going to be one hell of a roller coaster this year and I can't wait to dive in. So let's get into the 2019 favourites that I have here for you. I tend to do this every year, so without further ado, let's get into it now. Okay? Let's do it. <laughs> Okay guys, so um, 2019 was a bit of a crazy one. Um, I don't think I was as active on YouTube as I kind of hoped I was, but 2020 is a very, very special year for me, so I need to make sure that I am here, I am active, and I'm also trying to do so many things in one year. I don't know, it's just one of those years that I'm going to have a lot of content. Well I'm going to try and record it so let's get into the 2019 favourites and I'm just going to back up a bit because I think I'm too close. <laughs> okay backing up. Okay guys so 2019 was a very crazy year um, and obviously now we're in 2020 and well basically let's be honest it is the wedding year so it's one of the hectic years and a lot of content is going down well, let's just hope I, I film it. So let's get into the 2019 favourites. Now, I think last year, I think I did it mainly beauty. I can't remember. Um, but this year is going to be a mix. Mainly beauty. As you know, guys, there's a lot of beauty in here. And I'm just going to dive in and start. Now, starting with my perfume of the year, I'm going to not mention Chloe for once. And it's going to be this beauty. Um, let me try and do this. It is the Roberto Cavalli Paradiso. I love you so much. This is such a beautiful scent. Um, I don't know what it is. This is my daily, I'm not joking, this is my daily scent that I use every single day for work. This is the first thing I've, and everyone compliments me on this. If you don't have it, you need it in your life. It is the green bottle. I know there's a blue and a red, but this is the green original Paradiso. Um, Roberto Cavalli and it is amazing. I still use all my clothes as you can see up here but this one, this is my daily, this is my beautiful scent and I used to use Boss Mavi a lot but this has taken its place for my daily. So you guys need to go and smell that if you go to any fragrance store, go and smell the Roberto Cavalli Paradiso. You will not regret it, it is gorgeous. Staying on the scent kind of thing, setting sprays you guys know i love setting sprays now obviously i swear by the jared cosmetics slay all day the newest baby is this one which is focus darling there you go i can't see it that was really bad dreamsicle this is the one that was with the collaboration with rich lux please ignore my nails i'm getting them done today and i broke two so please ignore that. So Dream Circle is the newest one and it smells amazing. <laughs> um, but then I have here, I just wanted to show you guys because I have a lot. There are, I have, do have more but I'm not going to show you everything because I'll be here for ages. Um, I do have the cucumber which is really nice, which is nearly gone, look at that. And watermelon. I do think I have the peach somewhere. But I'm not sure if I finished it or if I put, gave it to someone. But I do have more, but these are the ones that I have right next to me, which was close to me to kind of film this video. So I just wanted to say that they're amazing, they smell nice, all my clients love them because of the scent and it just gives, it really makes it easy for you to spray it over. Next one I want to try is the coconut, because people are really complimenting the coconut. Everyone's telling me go try the coconut. I will do, I promise, I will try. Next hair product, Batiste. Let's just say this has been in my favourites for the past five six years best thing ever made um this is great for the third day when you don't want to do anything to your hair and you kind of need to do something please do not look at my roots my roots are really bad I'm getting them done next week so this will be done it looks so bad let's just look up so you don't see them it looks really bad but i'm just getting um this done um for christmas because obviously I'm pre-filming this um, for when you're seeing it and it looks really bad. 
let's just ignore the hair do. Okay, next, next, next. I have a lot of things here to show you. Tangle teaser. Okay, it has my hair on it. I'm just gonna move it along because it looks horrible. I just brushed my hair. Tangle teaser. I have this black and pink one which came in the plate box. Was that plate? Plate? Plate box. Subscription. It was a subscription box here at Maiden Mall. So it was about 10 euros and this was in it and I love it. I do have an orange one which I love and cherish but i think i burnt it with all the hair dryer that i was using so it is really good it's really good for extensions like as i have here at the moment i've got extensions on and it's amazing very sorry about my printer it tends to make noises every now and again who do you know okay next product yes this body shop let's just let's just mention the body shop okay the body shop chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter not sure if this is a new one. Yes, this is a new one because I have a very botched one in my bathroom, in my shower, because that's where I take my makeup off. And I always make sure I've got another one. I think I've got another one. Is this the new one? I think this is the newest one. I'm on my. I think I went through about three this year, and this is the next one. So I wanted to make sure I have one backed up whenever I open one, and to make sure I go and get one. It's amazing. It melts. Um, literally on dry skin it takes off everything and just need to wipe it off it is perfect I am not joking it is amazing 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 stuff keep staying on with the body shop you guys this has no it needs no introduction I have added to the range obviously I love the drops of youth this is the let me just see if you can open it focus for me darling Darling, focus. Not this way. There you go. No, nope. there you go. Really? Don't know why he doesn't want to focus today. There you go. So it's the Drops of Youth Youth Cream. Um, the newest baby to the edition is this, which is the eye cream. Let's see. There you go. So that's the newest edition. And then I had the serum, which you guys have seen already. So those are my resume which i swear by unfortunately for at least five years and you know i'm going on 28 so i need to make sure i'm always using the right skincare and this this has been amazing every time i change it i break out so i just kind of stick to this it's kind of got like a light gel consistency and it's perfect for my skin because i'm i've got an oily to combination skin so it's really good, it's not too thick, and it's just the right amount of consistency for the skin that I have. So I have to really, really say I would never change that, unfortunately. I have tried and failed miserably, so I'm not doing that again. Next is a purchase that I kind of had done in summertime when I went to Barcelona in Spain. And it's the Hula Bronzer in the Caramel um, by Benefit. And this oh my god i have dug deep in this already and i love the brush that it comes with this brush is amazing now i have it on today obviously i didn't use this brush today but i have it on today and i actually went and purchased the normal hula but i haven't tried it yet because i'm scared to because i'm not sure if i'm gonna like it so but the caramel is amazing perfect contouring shade especially for summertime not maybe now i'm kind of getting too light for it now but i do have another one backed up a normal one to try out so i'm going to try that out once i've gone into that and don't want to change it up a bit next foundation this is amazing this is the max factor compact face finity compact eye Use this in summer, I swear by this in summer, and I went through three of these in summer. And this is number, let me see if it focuses, probably won't again. There you go, number six, golden. And I actually have to show you guys, this is how this is how bad and botched they are. So this is one of them, I think I threw one away, but as you can see, I swear by these. Amazing for summertime if you really sweat constant liquid foundation in the summer and you live in a hot climate this is amazing it is so good for people who don't like foundation or liquid foundation just want something even in winter time this is amazing this was the first year i used powder only in summer and i don't know why i never did that before 
so that I do have to mention so love this 10 out of 10 okay next lips let me see if I've said everything yes lips okay I've got two items I've got more in my hand but they're dupes duplicates not dupes okay Jeffree Star celebrity skin this is been has been my ride or die all year why won't you focus I'm having trouble with my with my, with my focusing with this camera which is not normal hello okay guys so this is celebrity skin i'm not sure if this is going to focus this focusing on my nails but anyways it is just your gorgeous brown nude really nice gorgeous for any time of day i'm actually not wearing the color today i wanted to change it up but i still want to mention it and this has to be my favorite favorite liquid lipstick at the moment i really wish jeffrey jeffrey star came up with this kind of color because this is the only one i like and it's from Jared Cosmetics. You guys know I love Jared Cosmetics and I love Jen. And um, this is skinny dipping. I'm going to swatch it for you guys because you guys need to see this shade. Perfect nude shade ever made in history. Perfect pinky nude. And one, two, three. So as you can see, I live and breathe in this. And I do have backups. I don't know if you guys want to see this. I don't know why it is not focusing. There you go. So those are the three of the same colour. That's how much I love it. Um, once finished, this is it. This is literally gone. Literally gone. I try to get as much as I can out of this. This is what I'm currently using. And I do have another backup because I cannot live without Skinny Dip. It is gorgeous. They're so moisturising and they last a long time. Definitely recommend it. Okay, now going on to jewelry. Need a breather. I'm going so fast, it's ridiculous. Okay, jewelry. I'm actually wearing my favorite one at the moment. I'm going to zoom in, guys, and show you this. Okay, guys, so this is um, a zodiac necklace from my sister's shop, actually. Um, there you go. So this is the Capricorn. Capricornus as she wants to say um, and it's got um, a small little gem Swarovski gem on it and it's in gold plated and I have been obsessed with this um, to be honest with you it is just gorgeous so this is what it looks like and it's just a pendant and it's just so pretty I'm going to zoom back out and distort you more and I just really really love it it's just an amazing pendant and yeah I've always wanted something like this that I can just put on and I'm good to go and it's from my sister's shop I'll leave a link down below it's from Sarah Gauchi um this is the design um obviously she was a Pulisovic but obviously she got married in June and she changed her surname and this is what it is so if you guys want to go on to Sarah Gauchi um let me just zoom in a bit more dot com um, you can actually purchase online and she has a full range um I actually have the hoops as well these are in rose gold um, I have a lot of her jewellery because obviously I'm obsessed and I do have the gold ones so let me show you the gold ones which I have not used yet these are the gold ones so those are the gold ones this is a really cute like little satin pouch that she has her packaging is amazing look how nice the inside box is um, oh and then I picked up some more of these these are just her like normal Kind of earrings so these are like really cute pinky ones there you go uh, these are like um unicorn ones um i have so many i actually have red ones here you go got red ones and let me see what these ones are oh, these are my normal orange ones that you probably would have seen me in there you go and I do have an another pink one, very light pink and a crystal clear ones. So I tend to love these like big square ones, but everyone's to his own and I tend to wear them a lot. So if you guys want to check out my sister's jewelry shop, it, she does have an online shop and that is 
so honorable really mention because now she has a shop and everything and she has a physical store which is so cool so i have to mention that next is Make sure nothing shows. Okay, next is this little number. I got this either in January or February on the London trip that I totally forgot I went on. I blanked. I didn't remember that I did go on this trip with Rid Ryan, but we did. And I picked up this um, credit card holder from Harrods from the Heathrow Airport. This is the one... Um, the one that, like long weekend that I totally forgot I went on and that was in 2019 so literally I don't remember doing anything and I don't remember going to see Jack the Ripper nothing like literally this was the one time where we were just talking about recently I was like where are we going down here again and he's like we're doing them like what do we do I had to literally physically ask him what we what what happened on that weekend because I just literally don't remember it but apparently I got one I, Good, got this so at least I do remember something so this is the car holder which I've been living in um, as you can tell it does have some wear and tear on the corners um, and like on the sides you know this was like 10 pounds so it wasn't that expensive but it is has done its purpose there we go back to reality it's done its purpose it's amazing I did go um, we, me and my mom actually went on a small um, quick weekend break um, back to England and back to London and I didn't find these card holders from Harrods at Gatwick airport so I was kind of upset because I wanted to get another one and so hmm. never mind that was not meant to be okay last but not least are two bags two bags that I've loved and lived in for the past year Okay, one goes without saying, it's the Neverfull MM by Louis Vuitton. This I have lived in since I bought it. It's obviously going on its two year anniversary because I bought this um, on my birthday two years ago on my 26th birthday. I think, yeah. Yeah, 26th birthday because I got the Speedy on my 25th and this was on my 26th. So 27th. We didn't get anything. I was a very good girl, but my at 2020, I've, um, I do have a present from Louis Vuitton, but it's my wedding gift, so I have to wait until my wedding day to open it because Ryan went to get me something. So I have to wait. I do have another. I do have another Louis Vuitton. Um, it is a small leather good, and um, because we had a budget and we didn't want to go over it, and because of the honeymoon and stuff like that. But I know it's another Louis Vuitton, so I'm looking forward to it. And I can't wait to show you guys what I do get. But that is something that will be shared in June because we have the honeymoon and everything. And I will need to speak to you guys about that as well. So that will be something that we will talk, talk about in June. So this is the baby. This has been used, loved, and looks still beautiful. And swear by it. If you need a, if you need a tote bag, go for that. I was always looking for a tote bag and until I found that, I don't know where I was, literally. Okay, I'm leaving the best for last. Um, you guys have seen this on my on my channel when I first got it. It is the long shop um, shopper bag with the long with the top long handles. Um, this is in the black. Um, I use this consistently for work. As you can tell, it is filled to the brim with stuff I am not joking this has done everything it is great in the winter great in the rain I need to do a review on this because wow it has been amazing it's a great travel bag as well so I swear by this little baby um I can't fault it really can't fault it it's amazing it feels <laughs> It is literally filled to the brim. I need to put it down because it's so heavy. Um, but yeah, that is amazing. I definitely recommend it if you're looking for something that is maybe not as expensive in your maybe I would say 70 80 bracket. That is a perfect shopper bag. Um, that is a La Pillage, what's it called again? La Pillage Shopper Large, I think it is, but definitely recommend it if you want something that is maybe similar to a Neverfull, but maybe not on that price bracket, which is like nearly a thousand euro definitely recommend that for you okay guys um i hope you enjoyed this 
video, the 2000 to the 2019 favorites video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I will be posting weekly videos, which I'm so excited to get back on the train and create content for you guys. Um, subscribe. I don't know if I said that. I probably did, but I just can't remember it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. And yeah, I'll see you very shortly. Bye, guys.